Welcome to an exciting episode of Americans Cook Czech. Yay! Yay! We are going to try making the Czech equivalent of, of the a Twinkie. Twinkie. <laughs> Twinkies. I grew up with Twinkies. Light and luscious sponge cake. With, with a creamy filling. Yes. And I wouldn't touch one of these today. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to make the Czech equivalent, which is brumik, uh, which is uh, a sponge cake with some sort of filling. And what we mean by making it isn't just making it. That's too easy. What are we going to do? We want to make sure its texture is right and its taste is right, but also the nutritional value is the same. And the same ingredients. So this is a big challenge, which is going to test not just our cooking skills, but our food chemistry skills as well. What do you think? Can we do it? Let's try. Stay tuned and find out. Before we get going, I thought we would share a little bit about Brumik with our American audience because maybe you haven't seen it before. Brumik come in a variety of flavors. This one is the original. It is a yellow cake with a chocolate filling. And then the favorite one from our Czech friends is this milk flavored one. Yes. So here's what we thought our process would be. Yeah, we'd measure the Brumik and then calculate the ingredient amounts and then determine the filling versus cake ingredients. And then we'd make the cake and the filling, well, the filling and the cake, and enjoy it. Yeah. So, so first off, <laughs> we get to dissect. Oh, poor roommate, look at this, yeah. We dissect the poor roommate to the cake and the filling. Yeah, so this is important because some amount of the ingredients go into the filling and some go into the cake. And if, unless we knew that, how much of each is what then we just be guessing so um there we're measuring the cake and so then we can get the right amounts yep and then we know the filling too yeah so there's 22 grams of cake and that means eight grams of filling for a total of 30 grams nice and simple but before we continue let yeah. us let's take a moment to remember <laughs> our friend brumick he gave his life valiantly in the name of science and science will continue. So now we're on to calculating the ingredient amounts. This is, uh, beware. This is math. This is math. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, go to my yeah. spreadsheets and solve a bunch of inequalities and linear equations, uh, which means I'm going to take the ingredients list, which has percentages in it. Thank you, European Union. Yep. And I'm, I'm also going to take the the um, nutrition information and, and the fact that it's only 30 grams of weight in yes. total yeah and then knowing the nutritional information of all the other ingredients i can figure out what percentages of the total they are now we're feeling really great at this point yeah Thank you, you are looking like a star <laughs> it's first day and, and we've already figured out the ingredients yes um, so now, what are we doing? We're going to determine the filling versus the cake ingredients. Right. It should be pretty easy, right? Yes, because, well, we know that there's, there's ingredient differences between the milk brumik, which we have also, right. and, and the regular brumik. And we can just assume as a starting point that those differences are due to their filling. So there's the differences right there. But we can also observe there's some other amount differences there so right. sugar milk um, and cocoa powder and cocoa and that all makes sense too because there's differences in the filling there's differences in the color of the cake uh, but what's left here's the problem we've only got 2.7 grams between the chocolate and the whey powder in the the brumik which means we need to figure out what the third ingredient is yeah the mystery <laughs> ingredient uh, there could be more than one. We just yeah. don't know. It's it's a mystery. But let's now go into the honorable mentions of ingredients. Yes, these are ingredients maybe you don't know of uh, before. This, this is uh, glucose fructose syrup, also known as corn syrup. It's a sweetener. And, and its sister or close cousin is glucose syrup, which provides a nice shiny shine to, the shine to frosting. Frosties. Yeah. This is vegetable glycerin. Yes, I've never cooked with this before, but cake makers say this stuff 
is really great to keep your cakes moist, which makes sense in brewing. Yeah. Then this one, this is just canola oil. Uh, it's called rapeseed oil on the, the package, but the, the same, it's, it's the it's same thing canola as canola oil. oil in the US. And this is whey protein. Whey, yeah. And this, I was a little surprised that it was in the filling. It looks like it's something that might belong better in the, the batter. Batter, yeah. And this is emulsifier. Uh, this is soy less, or no, this is sunflower emulsifier. Mm, and this gooey. is the texture of the beautiful filling, but yes. it's also got a little cake in it. Yeah, so it's very sticky and um, we could not duplicate it. We tried adding mystery ingredients to the whey powder and chocolate. This was glucose syrup and uh, I think glucose fructose syrup. It's, it's just not looking right. And then, ooh. This one definitely <laughs> doesn't look right. This one. It, it's not even mixing. <laughs> we went from bad to worse. Oops, it looks like I spilled there too. Uh, we tried we tried um, oil. We tried emulsifiers in oil. We tried hand mixing it. Uh, this, yeah, this isn't going to work either. We tried heating up the, the uh, wheat protein also or with whey. the glucose, whey protein also. And... Uh, we've made a little souffle that fell immediately. It's failures. Yeah, at this point, I'm I'm reevaluating my choices in life. Are we going to be able to make this happen? We've we've tried just about everything. Seems like all the things we're doing goes from bad to worse. But there has to be hope somewhere. And this was it. As I was reading another recipe, I saw. Um, molding chocolate or modeling chocolate it's made out of chocolate and glucose fructose syrup or caro syrup and uh, i thought that that's it we'll try that maybe that's our problem so and so here we are mixing our chocolate chocolate <laughs> and and the glucose fructose syrup and it's a little clumpy at first but right? after a while it gets this really nice smooth texture and it's shiny it's beautiful and as it cools down, it'll get that sticky uh, texture. So what does that mean? We're going to move the whey powder back out of the, the filling and glucose syrup. And we'll also move the glucose fructose syrup over there. There you go. Get over there. And into the eight grams that we need. So now that we yes. have the filling, we can do the cake. Yeah. Yeah. OK, I'm, <laughs> I think we've got this made. It's, it's going to be a piece of cake. Yeah, because cake is pretty easy. Yep. You, you just make a batter, make sure that all of the ingredients are mixed well, and you have the temperature of the oven correct. Yes, well, we found out it wasn't actually that easy. How long you beat the batter is important, or you get a tough cake, uh, how you combine the ingredients. Here we are, we're putting the, uh, the first rev our naive batter into some brumic molds. These brumic molds came from the Czech Republic and um, we are just trying to get the oven temperature and length of time in the oven correct right now. So, ooh, those, what do you think? Those they look, kinda, look a little overcooked. They're a little dark, yeah. And, and crispy, look crispy edges. <laughs> we don't want crispy edges. Uh, the, the edges got crispy because the ears and the paws stuck out and the, they just were getting a lot more heat there. Uh, this one, oh, it's it crumbly. It doesn't it's, look it's right. It's dry and falls apart. Let's let's keep doing it. We we did lots and lots <laughs> of these. Oh, that one looks. That's mm -hmm. like lots of sugar in there, and you can see it's caramelized and sticky. Yep. Uh, these look extra puffy. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, this one, it's it's. Uh, uh, this true. one's even uh, even drier. This one had a really dry mouth feel to it. And it's too heavy. Yes, oh, these, no. these molds were too big. So even if we solved all those other problems, the molds are too big. So um, hmm, what are we going to do about that? Dry, dry paws question. and too big. Now, every, every person has the opportunity for a defining moment in their life. And I think this was ours. <laughs> <laughs> when faced with this problem, we did what no one else would do. We said, we're going to make our own brumic mold. So, here it is. Uh, there's, there's probably enough footage to do a special episode just on making brumic molds. 
if you guys, if you are, are viewers, if you want to see us make uh, this mold, go ahead and put it in the comments. Let us know that you want to see the full Brumik mold making. Otherwise, you've got this very short montage. You can see uh, this is silicone grade um, or food grade food silicone. silicone. So it's it's not going to make poison us by using it. And um, we have to make sure. There's our first batch of Brumik coming out. So they're they're looking. A little uh, fat. A little fat. We'll fix that. Um, but here's another problem. I'm trying to pipe filling into them. <laughs> and um, how, it's, it's, it's oozing out. It's starting to spew it's out. out. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to fix that too. But this is how we fixed the, the whey protein problem. We mechanically processed it so it was a finer powder, so it incorporated better. And... Um, well, let's let's see what we did. We did a few more changes. We moved, we added some sugar to yeah. the um, filling. Yeah, we moved the sugar out, and then we moved the fructose glucose fructose syrup back into the main batter, which changed the consistency of the batter and um, also the filling just a little bit. And we also learned in order to get the weight of these things right, we had to do all of the piping on a scale. Yes, so we we always knew we had the right amount of filling in there. Uh, and again, we're doing more and more learning about uh, <laughs> about how the oven profile. We're pretty close here, but I've got another problem. I'm trying to. Yeah. yeah. The the amount of filling that needs to be put into these bears is just too much. They they can't hold it all, and they they just explode. So this is not not looking very promising. Poor Bruno. Our cake is so light and fluffy that it just won't hold. Yeah, so we decided instead of making a machine that would inject that in, I, I made, I just used a confectioner's trick. I, when the chocolate was hot, the filling was hot, I spread it out and then refrigerated it. And then we had these little little globs that we could put into. Little eight gram globs. Yeah, that... put them right into the, the filling and, and we just pipe right over them. Because that way, all of the things are perfectly put together and have the right weight. Yeah, and look at that. It's It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. The only thing is the color is a little off, and we fix that by just moving a little of the cocoa powder from the paws to the main, main filling, and there they are. They look wonderful. This has been a very long journey, but we're at the end. Yes, and it actually has been about three months since we started over three months since we started this i thought uh, that it was going to be an easy thing to do it turned out to be pretty difficult pretty complex <laughs> yeah we and we learned a lot about about food chemistry as we went along we shared that with you and i think we've made every sort of bear that we possibly could make we made uh, fat bears we made the flat bears we made, made uh, hard crumbly bears and we made bears that were wet inside. We made bears that fell apart like they were just pressed sand. <laughs> We've seen it all. But finally, we did, we came up with a, a Brumik bear, and we're sharing it in the recipes, a Brumik bear, which is very similar to the, the Czech Brumik that you could get in the stores. I uh, hope you enjoyed this journey. Uh, if you liked what you see. Please consider subscribing. Yes. Until next time. Dobro Yes. Bye-bye.